The Continental Divide National Scenic Trail is a 2,800 mile route that runs from Canada to Mexico through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Large sections of this trail are incomplete, yet every year a handful of hikers set out to walk its entire length. So we're packaging up mail drops. Here's what we have. A lot of pineapple rings. Various assortment of cliff products. Mangoes. Electromix. Fruit leathers. Raisins. More fruit leathers. These are our mail drops. 20 of them. Basically from Mini Glacier. And then it continues down here. And all the way over there is a box in the bottom of that shelf. That is Hachita. The packing is done and now it's time to head to Belco. My hip is completely asleep. Yeah, really? It, it almost went out of socket. I never want to ride with seven people in Beauty's car again. But Canada is cool, right? Yes, it's the 24 hours of Belco. Is that a Kellyan day? So on June 14th, 2006, the day before we started our Continental Divide Trail hike, we found ourselves at the Belly River Campground in Waterton Lakes Provincial Park, just north of the Canadian border. Our hope was that this kickoff would rival anything that the Pacific Crest Trail or Appalachian Trail had ever offered. And I think that's exactly what we found. German hitchhiking bag. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep it up when you're standing next to the road. <laughs> German brand Haribo. Oh. <laughs> what in the hell? It's Colorado. <laughs> oh, like gummy treats, huh? Yeah. So what do you think? Are we going to do... Um, uh, ice axe pole vault or <laughs> <laughs> drunken Monarch. GPS. I think we should eliminate one person from the CDT. Oh, we should vote people out like every couple weeks, right? Every every state. People vote on that. Be like, I'm sorry, Pi. The tribe has spoken. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> CDT. Yep. <laughs> the end of the 24 hours of Daily Kill. Yeah. Welcome to the Connell Divide Trail. <laughs> I'm Aiko. Oh, nice. First day on the trail, we had about 40 mile per hour winds, horizontal rain, and luckily enough, 
There's a ranger station six miles in, which we just spent about the past seven or eight hours at. <laughs> I think it's 20% chance of rain, but about a 90% chance of misery. That's my prediction. <laughs> so how, how do you feel hiking on the CDT? It's very good today. Yesterday, not so good. <laughs> There's his pack. Maddie, what are you doing? What do you guys think Maddie's chances are of actually doing this right now? I think he's going to do it, but he's nuts. Maddie can do anything. <laughs> so, what did you think today about um, your climb up Triple Divide Peak? Well, it was really exposed, like, like the whole uh, yellow band. You gotta like watch your step. Every misstep would have lead to certain deaths. <laughs> and I'm not joking. Like, so you got to grab like the stone wall with your hands and sometimes go on your knees. What did you do on top of Triple Divide Peak? Yeah, I did the three most important things. Took a picture, yelled uh, my love for my girlfriend and uh, Pete and all the three bays. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm spying on Maddie. I'm trying to learn his German ways. Oh yeah? So maybe I'll be able to prance across the snow the way that he can. What, what have you learned so far? Um, he has some pretty cool diaper cream called the Pintum cream. It's from Bayer. <laughs> like aspirin. Secret weapon from Germany. You can, <laughs> you can apply it on your lips, on your feet, and even inside your mouth. <laughs> you can take it right from your feet and put it in your mouth. <laughs> I will not eat one of those things ever, ever again. Okay, yeah, we, we, we got to explain the situation. I, I, I don't know what it is. We got to explain like the situation a little. Like she's like one day like out of town half. and she got a full bear canister of food. <laughs> We're eating half of it right this now. This is out of control. Yeah, like a, <laughs> it's, 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 you realize that you can resupply tomorrow if I you know. want. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so either. enough to get all the way across Glacier. But the, in it, <laughs> yeah. She's good enough to get to Idaho. <laughs> 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 Big sky, Montana. Yeah, it's a really big sky. Jump in. All right, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold, man? It's good. It's too hot here on the CDT. <laughs> okay, let's hike on. <laughs> What's for dinner? Whole wheat pasta, some just veggies, some just garlic, and some powdered milk. And I added some olive oil. Yum. And. That's about it. I was sweating a lot because someone forced me to take a break in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. My other blister peeled off. That's nasty. It doesn't hurt at all. Feels good. See? You can touch it. Chinese wall. Scapegoat Wilderness Visitor Registration Card. I'm sure. How did you obtain information about the area? Jonathan Lay. <laughs> uh.
Hey man, is that a bear? <laughs> what? Yeah, somebody put it in my pack, I don't know who. Welcome That's to the right. Continental Divide. Come on, run through it, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is your food bag? Yeah, it's cool. Does that say a spree? That's where it comes from. So I close it against the rain. <laughs> I hope the branch doesn't crack. <laughs> This mm. is filled with blood underneath. Mm. That's a blood blister. And it's starting to hurt because there's so much pressure underneath. And here's my other toenail that I lost. And here's the blister that just healed on the side. Oh man, your feet. <laughs> <laughs> just like the bear, like he was on the trail like ahead of me and like, I want to go that way. And he was like coming this way. So they both kind of like went, whoa. About 20 minutes ago, um, we got to the trail junction right near Cottonwood Lake at Thunderbolt Mountain. So yeah, so I'm just standing and he's looking at me, I'm looking at him like, oh wait, I don't want to look at him, do I? And then I'm kind of like this, you know, and then, and then I'm looking at him and then I like got my camera out. <laughs> I had to use the bathroom. So I set my pack right beside a tree and then I went off to do my business. Bear? It was a black bear. It was, mm. a, it was, I don't know, you could judge by the size. About two minutes later, a bear a black bear showed up walking about 50 feet away from me, up the trail towards me. But it definitely saw you. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like we stopped and, then, and he decided to go that way around the trail and I decided to go that way. And I'm just like... And I can't help but think that if I had been a little bit longer doing my business that the bear would have come right up on my back. And then like he stops and he's looking at me and he starts walking towards me. I'm just like, ah. I think the lesson that I learned here today on the Continental Divide Trail is that um, if you have to step off the woods to do some business, it's probably a good idea to take your pack with you, especially your bear spray. So where are we at? Um, I don't know. The day is July 11th and we're here at the Four Corners. We are officially about to step on to the Anaconda Cutoff. So it's 20 miles to Anaconda. If everything goes as planned, we might be there tonight. Like two seconds of happiness, and then I tripped over a rock and like <laughs> fell on my good knee. And my, meanwhile, the, in my water bottle like flew out of my pack and the. I can't believe you guys just found us on the road. Yeah, we were going to go down here and leave a sign for you, like, you know, like, proceed <laughs> to hotel room, such and such, and Anaconda. And our good friends Pine Nitro just showed up. They accosted us. They accosted us on the side of the road. With Mountain Dew and Coke. It was quite nice. It was probably the most exciting thing that's happened on the entire hike so far. The 24 hours of nitro are officially over. <laughs> See ya. She carries about 110. They carry oh about a quarter of their body weight, like a person wow. does. And then he carries 150. And then one, what I have to we resupply, he's carrying 200. But he's an 800 pound animal, so. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, you can imagine, really? like. We never yeah. looked at that before. That yeah. good. So if you see the V shaped thing right there, that's where we came down. Today we're here at Gibbons Pass. <laughs> Gibby. And I'm having a brief trail snack. Hydration and nutrition all in one. <laughs> Tell us what the water report is for the next section. <laughs> <laughs> there is a gallon right there. Sweet. So I went and sat down on the bus, and as I'm sitting down, I hear this shriek. Ah! And a little bit later, another shriek. Ah! <laughs> so I'm wondering what's going on. And then there's like a big jumble of talking, blah, blah, blah. So I get out of the house and go check, and I guess people can rent this hut. 
And so some people had rented the hut for like three days. And Love Barge had gone down there, opened the front door, and there's a guy in there naked shaving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Ah, uh, I'm hot. <laughs> so what do you That's have it. here? Uh, this is a dead horse fly that... Paid the price. Yeah, he's not quite dead yet. He's <laughs> suffering. But I'm enjoying watching him suffer. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <fuckers>. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beauty, what happened to your knee? That's from the disaster that was Dana Spring. That was a long time ago, right? I it? know. It was pretty awful. I see you, boy. Don't you be looking at me like that. You just go and get out of here. And take your youngins with you. Welcome to Ledor, Idaho. So the car gets closer and I'm flagging it down. but he stops far away from me. So I start walking up to him and then he puts the car in reverse. Like, oh man, what's going on? You're the first car we've seen in a couple hours. We're just looking for a ride to town. We're hiking the CDT. And then he puts the car back in reverse. So just, he's like, we just need a ride into town, that's all. And he thinks about it for a second and he looks at me and he's like, nope. <laughs> so we walk over here to the Silver Dollar Cafe and bar, and then yeah. we walk in. Yeah, Guy still serving yeah. food. But, um, and then like a couple uh, like you want a burger? <laughs> yeah, I don't really eat meat. And kind of like the music stopped, and I <laughs> kind of looked back at me. And I was just like, okay. Do you have anything else? <laughs> you got a pizza. Okay, well, that's take the pizza. It's a nice little uh, like 10 inch really frozen though. pizza it's served good. right on the box. It's very yep. nice. Yeah. Look at those tots. Napoleon. <laughs> Give me some of those tots, man. <laughs> Yellow bottle, good. Red bottle, bad. This one burns. Oh, it burns. It lit our tin foil on fire and pretty much almost caught the entire uh, gulch on fire. There's tons. There must be at least a hundred yeah, or more. At least. Look, there's more. Just because you have a signed trail junction does not necessarily mean that you have a trail. Continental Divide Trail, this way. There's a post. And another one. But no trail. Pretty standard, really. I got these shoes. And they've got a lot of mesh, you see. Which is nice, they're breathable. But this is what happens to the feet. If you wear gaiters like myself, you'll notice a tan line. It doesn't really bother me, but the ladies, they don't really seem to like that tan line. This is not the best water source. Some kind of algal sludge. 
It's flowing though. It doesn't smell too bad. We're gonna go with the, the double whammy, the pure hiker filter first, followed by some Aquamira. We'll see if that works. Our new tradition is to fill our fence full of shoes. People that have walked out of their shoes and they're no longer good to go or they've blown out or something like that. So anybody that wants to donate their shoes to the fence here <laughs> will gladly take your shoes. You have to write your name on them, your trail name, your real name, how many miles the shoes went and we'll happily put them on the fence. What's going on with the hiker tan? It's still there from two years ago? I have really gross infection on my back. I think it's from my pack. It's um, a staph infection. A staph? That's a pretty serious infection. Yeah, it? all the doctors are telling me not to hike because um, I could be in the hospital for months if it gets any worse. So did you go see a doctor? I went to the hospital. Yeah. Well, they gave me some antibiotics and some Percocets for the pain. I might be able to go back tomorrow and get it cut open and drained and then hopefully my problems will be solved. This is the CDT right now. And you can see that there's kind of a path where people have walked, but uh, for all intents and purposes, there's really not much going on here but weeds. Well, basically I'm pretty excited to be done with Montana. And it had some really great parts, but I'm ready to move on. I need a little time to process Montana and to think about it, but all I know is it took us 48 days to get through it, and some of those days, the only thing that kept me going was knowing that I would never have to walk through Montana again. Also, I think it's um, kind of sickly humorous that on day one we were freezing cold and it was raining. And today when we left Montana it was freezing cold and raining and there was no trail today. Which was an added bonus. But it's done. So we met this guy coming out of McDonald Pass and uh, he was asking us if we had seen any bears. We told him, yeah, we'd seen a couple in Glacier. And he said, he, he's from Helena, he said, well, I've been hiking in these parts for a long time. And I've seen one, one bear in Glacier. But I saw 40 grizzlies in Yellowstone. Come on, there's more tourists. I had a moth fly under my ear and it laid there for a day and a half flying around or fluttering around and wouldn't come back out no matter what we did. Maddie tried to get it out with the tweezers, a little thing to flush water in there and you could get it out so we had to go to the clinic and they got it out. It was in my ear for three days and 70 miles. Oh. It, how long was it alive during that? It was alive pleasure? for the first day and a half, and every now and then you'd feel it flutter. And then I got some bug spray in my ear. Oh, it, it, red bad, and it just went crazy. It's just like, it says bury human waste at least 100 feet from a water source. PUD and I are about, I don't know, six feet from this huge water source. Just on the other side of this tree. 
is a poo. I guess the people just couldn't wait. You can see this whole area on the side of my toe is swollen. And you can't really see very well, but it's red and everything around it hurts. Beauty, we've been on the trail 52 days now. How many of those 52 days have you had either foot or leg pain? 100%. Embrace the brutality. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The brutality of the CDT. What is the status of your dog bite right now? My dog bite <laughs> is healed. Let's see. You have a scar. It might be just like your sunburn. a dirty old scar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so laundromat, I, I see that you're not hiking with a laundry bag. I was like, do you have a real backpack? <laughs> yeah, I do own a real backpack. Well, I, and... The CDT is your first long trail, is that correct? Yep. <laughs> How's it been going? I love it. It's great. Um, I think uh, the other trails are going to probably be boring for me. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't want me so moving I've never in. cut a woman's hair before, but... <laughs> so how many inches are we talking here? Six? Seven? <laughs> like, maybe like that much. So it's about three. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling very excited. This is first... It's my first uh, beauty salon job here in <laughs> Dubois, Wyoming. Dubois. Oh, Maddie, you should let me cut that chest hair next time. <laughs> and I revoked town privileges many, many moons ago. I can't wear it to town. I can only wear it like in the middle of nowhere. You should bounce it. I'm not bouncing it, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. The moment I bounce it is the moment I get eaten by a bear. I think you should maybe burn it and retire it. You soak it in heat and light it. I so heat. I so heat. The red heat bottle, Maddie. No, I always take the yellow one. Never get with the red. What do you think, Disco? Is that good? It's eight days carry. Man, what about this item? <laughs> Two pounds. I'm Look. gonna try it out. <laughs> Maybe I got a little bit too much, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know how it works out, man. Yeah, we will see. And then the Fremont County Sheriff told us there was a big fire between Tuggety Pass and Union Pass on the CDT. There it is. Oh, I got him. So tonight is August 11th and we're on our first stretch heading into the Wind River Range. Those are big freaking packs. Five point seven miles to Cattle Pool. I'd rather drink urine. So what do you think? Are we gonna make it through the basin or what? Yeah. I think it's gonna be fine. Near Lander, Wyoming, the Continental Divide splits into east and west rims, which rejoin south of Rollins, Wyoming, and enclose the several million acre area known as the Great Divide Basin. Hey, Skills, you got some friends, man.
So Disco, what are you doing? It's cold, yeah. I'm learning how to use a pump nice filter. Okay. So you are always filtering water, huh? <laughs> no. I actually don't even want this on video. <laughs> Oh, it stinks. It does stink, man. It's and only about a foot deep. It won't fill all the way. Oh, Do well. you have a water bottle I can use to fill it? I can't get up again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull you up. So we're here today at the A&M Reservoir in the Great Divide Basin. And um, the reservoir is supposed to be fenced off from cows. You can see the cows down here, outside the fence. But then, we got the reservoir. A couple of cows, more cows, 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 cows. So I think it's a safe bet to say uh, there's a very strong likelihood there's Giardia in the water. So. Hopefully our filter works. So Speedo, what's for breakfast? Today it's like every morning. Oatmeal and instant pudding. That looks a little green, man. This pistachio. Welcome to breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I can't use a special tool to get it all in my water bottle. Oh boy. Good luck. <laughs> bon appetit. Ho ho! Come on! What do we got then? We got to film this. It's beautiful. So what's pretty surprising, you Americans engineered like this cool water system, but then you got these two pit toilets. It's like full of dead moth. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like a whole population, it's extinct here, man. I think I should have a tire. You should carry one on your back. It's a new lightweight item. I'm doing a little front packing today. My friend Speedo highly recommends it. And I don't think it'd be a good thing to do with a heavy pack, but it's nice to change it up a little bit. He's going in that hole. What hole? Look at that rattle. Oh, yeah. Does this work? Oh, that way south. Oh. It's kind of hard to navigate on these highways. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. There. There's water in there. What do you think, man? Bottled water or this? Well, when I was head up upside down in there, it just didn't really look that good. <laughs> I think this stuff from uh, from Costco would do quite nicely. And Happy Mills. If you were to win the useless gear award, what item in your pack would qualify? And then we're gonna run it. Probably the Purell, because no matter what we do out here, we're always gonna stink and be this hygienic. And I've never seen him use it once. Oh, really? He's never there are used it. Things I do, you're not around to see. Basically, I had to uh, cut the side of the nail mm -hmm. to get out the piece that was sticking into my toe. Mm -hmm. So I cut that out and I'm just trimming away 
excess skin. Koche ich. You told me not to cut off that part right there. Acht auf 3.500 Meter geschlafen. Bottom of the bag. So, what is turbo loading? We have an interesting way of eating. Come on, man. What's your manners? In Germany. <laughs> 25.8 miles. It's raining. I have no pants. But I have tie back. Gimpy likes to play a little game with his squeaky toy. And usually. When I get close enough, he grabs it. And then I come after him and he takes off. Come on, guys. Make sure you get video of Disco getting butted. That's going to be the best part. And they're off! <laughs> Embrace the brutality. <laughs> yeah, because nice. that's what it is. That's what it's all about. If he's dead, he's definitely recently dead. It's like the crab crawl. This is why you had to do crab crawl in elementary school gym class. Oh, oh, oh. Sidewinder, what would your mom say right now? <laughs> she would shake her head. And go, what the list I'm doing? Sidewinder, what are you having for dinner, man? Chipotle uh, rice. As I like to say, orange. Orange rice. Orange rice. rice. Yum. At McDonald Pass going into Helena. Yeah. This other guy comes by. So I get in the car, look over, and I introduce myself to him, and I notice there's blood like coming from the back of his head. Oh. Rough night. He goes, Yeah. I was partying with some friends and I apparently I just fell over. Oh, how much you have to drink? He goes, uh, I don't know, I had a liter of vodka with cranberries, but oh. I don't think that's what did it. I think it was the, um, the Oxycontin <laughs> and the Vicodin I took. <laughs> Two sentences after that, he's like, you wanna get high? See you, Sidewinder. Happy trails, my friend. Congratulations. Happy trails to you. You got the best part of the hike coming up. 1,200 miles worth. <laughs> Later. Later. So we're sitting here at Devil's Thumb Park today. And as you can see by P.O.D.'s <laughs> chattering teeth, it's a little windy at the moment. All I can say is that I hope any hikers up on the divide right now, above tree line in the wind and the rain, are safe because I wouldn't want to be up there right now. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to be up there. 
So we're going to commence our <laughs> bail to the roads at this moment. Just making some dinner in the rain. Yeah. We've got our uh, patented two umbrella vestibule system. And we got the stove right out, out front here. Even though we're feeling the push to get through Colorado, there's really nothing we can do at this point because of the weather. I got it all, want me to talk to you? Yeah, we'll do a quick interview. Okay. So, how far did you come to visit me on the Continental Divide Trail? I must have come all the way around the world. I mean, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Continental Divide Trail, show it to me. What do you think our chances are of actually making it to the Mexican Please, border I don't in two do, months? Please, I don't do mortuary <laughs> statistics. ¿Qué pasa? Nada. Aquí. In the meadow in Cima de la Montaña. Are you tired? Yeah. Whew. He's going. There he comes. He's got it up. Don't go over. Don't go over. We should add a few and make it taller. It's a lot taller now. We had a little option today coming out of Silverthorn. We could do 5,400 feet of elevation gain over 21 miles. Or, we could walk this lovely bike path from Silverthorne through Frisco to Copper Mountain. So we opted for the more scenic walk. Uh, probably not really, but um, it's a lot flatter. When my, the inside of my cap gets mold on it, that's usually when it's time to replace it. He wants to eat my food. Hey. So we're here today at Camp Hill, an area where the 10th Mountain Division trained. Um, during World War II before they were sent to Italy for combat. It's pretty run down. I guess a couple years back, you couldn't even really hike through this area because there were a lot of um, duds and landmines and unexploded ordnance. It says, Dear Crew, we're going into Leadville to stuff our faces, shower, and lay around. We're spending the night and hiking out mid-morning tomorrow. Come join us at the hostel. Um, do you promise to give POD and Disco a ride to Tennessee Pass tomorrow morning? You produce a car. I will give you a ride to Tennessee Pass. You don't have a car, man? I just That's it. it. The interview's right. over, man. Yeah. <laughs> on his bike. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's really not that hard to make. No, no. It's just effort. Yes. Yeah. And lakes, you know, there's that. I don't remember. Because the actual trail comes out here. This is a underpass of okay. the highway. You walk back here. And then, yeah, we walked back to Twin Lakes when we were on the Colorado wow. Trail. Uh -huh. Hiker Look what you guys have done to this this shop. <laughs> you hiker trashed it up. This isn't for you to spread out your things and your items because you're homeless, guys, <laughs> girls. We're comfortable, you know. It started raining at about 5 a.m. and it's changed over to freezing rain. The problem is that we're only at 9,000 feet elevation. And Hope Pass is at 12,500 feet. If it's freezing rain down here, it's definitely snowing up there. And I'm also worried about the snow issue because we don't have ice axes or anything. 
Yeah, that's Hope Pass. Yeah, the skiing is great. The hiking, not so great. We've decided to take a low route today. So low that it's going to take us into Buena Vista to the hot springs. <laughs> Last night it got down to about 25 or so in our tent. I'm thinking that maybe I'll get a zero degree bag. You got two face down. Oh. <laughs> uh. It's winter up here at 12,000 feet. September 18th. And we camped below tree line, no snow last night. And this snow here is from about three days ago. And there's at least six inches in some places. What do you guys think that the air temperature is right now? Oh, it's both freezing, I bet. What the air temperature? Yeah, because it's kind of raining. 30, yeah. 34. But uh -huh. it's chilly. This is the ice cream sandwich. This is the official bar. Bring up. Oh, oh, again, ice oh, cream bars and margaritas. Or maybe the water, man. Uh, no, it's a it's vodka. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. The land of vodka, right, right, Mary? Yeah, you can tell how you look like. <laughs> <laughs> a nice candy. A nice candy and a side of farva beans. <laughs> what is it? What a cooler. A cooler of sodas, right? Yeah. In Cochitoba Hills. Just past 114. I'm on it. There you go. Are you snowboarding or are you hiking, man? Hiking. Come on, man. It's closer to mountaineering. We're back on the trail again after three zeros in Crested Butte. Walked into a winter wonderland. My gator's frozen solid. So it only took us about mm, 1,700 miles to get to our first shelter on the CDT. It took us over three months. Mexican rice and uh, seven ounce tuna fish and sunflower oil. Then I got these uh, little fish oil pills and some vitamins. And then I'm gonna snack on my other sh stuff. I've got chicken and broccoli. Ooh. And a tuna fish. What's what flavor tuna? It's the only way to rock, man. Sweet and spicy. I've never had that. I've never tried any of those. Like. Oh, uh, sure. I'll try a bite. What are you guys back there doing? Trail maintenance or something? What's going on? I'm here in the Cochitopa Hills. Searching for a soda cache. Found nothing so far. Is there anything in it? Yes! Yeah, I opened it up. And... Wow! Look. Oh, PUD just came over the rise. Don't let him beat you, man. What's he doing? He's, he's coming. He's coming like a freight train. I'm 
not third place, I'm second runners up man. <laughs> Oh man, what are you doing? <coughs> Getting ready for the summit. Lightening my pack weight. What about water, man? What if a marmot comes and eats all that? Bad luck. Yeah, what did Skittles do? What does his note say? Sis says, hey all, I'm wussing out and taking the creek cutoff. I'll have to come back and do the bloody Juan BJ trail. Trade's note says, we're definitely considering the San Juan route, depending on how the next 15 miles go. Don't wuss out. What's a few more miles? What are you out here for anyway? The creek cutoff is for dweebs, dorks, and jerks. POD's being harassed by a civilian. What do you think about the creek cutoff? <laughs> I think uh, actions speak louder than words at this point. We're supposed to meet P.O.D.'s friend, the professor, at Wolf Creek Pass by six. Normally this wouldn't be too tough. The problem is this. And our trail is there. We've been walking through snow and mud and slop. I'm freaking exhausted. PUD's exhausted. Come on! Look what I found on the trail. I'm a real American now. It's right. an algae. If you're not prepared to walk in a stupor, zombified state, you shouldn't be out here. So, P.A.D., did you think you're going to get interviewed on our 95.9 KZR now, the Princess of Darkness and Disco are actually filming a documentary on their walk, and they're still waiting for that ride down to the diner down there. Hi, guys. <laughs> what we're going to do? We're going to play a little bit of Cinderella. A little gypsy road in honor of these guys. We can't get a ride anywhere. And we've got a sign. We need to go 12 miles. Look at that, it's even cheerful. And no one will pick us up. Watch this guy. He would... Come on, pick us up. Love it. It's been like this all day. New Mexico is cold and wet and muddy. Yeah. Am I still muddy on the back? Where it was hot and dry. Whoa! We're just kind of walking a gully, and then uh, all of a sudden I came to the edge. It's definitely not a wolf style map. It's not detailed enough. Oh! Let's go. Let's get it.
Judy, how many trail miles do you have right now, total? Mm. Gittles, how many how many trail miles do you think you have right now? Um, how many are the three together? About 7,600. So I've got about 7,000. It's 8 a.m. on October 13th. And I'm about to bada Skittles and the princess. I think the phantom is a crowd pleaser. Bada! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the phantom of the wilderness. Oh, yeah. Did I scare you guys? Yeah. <laughs> cool. I was just... Oh, it didn't work, man. What up? Oh, dude! <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. D N S C D N S C. It says it's 3,100 miles. What do you guys think? That's well, maybe for Maddie. Going under a fence. Oh. That's the proper technique. What would your mom say right now, P.O.D.? She'd say that I'm foolish. Yeah? Yeah. So would I. <laughs> First, that that really I we we know about came this spring uh, when when five northbound, northbound through hikers um, came by. Point of vista. Don't mess up. Boo. Man, this is sketchy. CDTA. We're about to die of thirst any minute now because there's no water. It's been 14 miles since our last water and it's 15 miles to our next water. Bone dry. That's what would say. Nothing. There is <laughs> this water. It doesn't matter that we just got fresh water because we're gonna die anyways. It's treacherous out there. We're gonna be in the snow and some hunters are gonna walk by and shoot us. I predict that I'm going to be sitting outside the TT tonight cooking dinner in the pouring rain. You don't want to drink out of there? I think I'm good. Yeah. I'm all right. I think I'll pass too. There's a prison right behind you, man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's why you're not getting a ride. Mm, guess I'll walk into town then. <laughs> Mags is about four days ahead of us, but we think we figured out where he camped coming into town. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Hiking the Continental Divide Trail. Hiking? <laughs> yeah. You mean you're doing this? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? What? Look at this guy. Friends, Mick, Susan, 
and Jao. Hikers, sorry, didn't realize we only had one beer left. Uh. But go ahead and drink it and have a soda or Gatorade. We should be back about 12 or 12 to 3. What advice do you have for 2007 hikers? Don't do it. Because you want a loose grip on the boat. Yeah, you don't like, want a real yeah, tight. Just yeah. like, do like this. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> <Whoa>. Bullseye! <laughs> Try? I, I'm hey, Skittles. It's cool. Yeah. Skittles, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, Speedo, what's going on with that knife, man? Well, for the fin, the knife is a lifelong companion. And as with any relationship, proper care has to be taken. Left an arrow for you so you can follow our footprints on the road. <laughs> so I think there's a through hiker in these bushes. Let's see if we can find it. Oh yeah, it's Skittles. <laughs> Man. You're flying the colors, man. What are you doing there, Disco? Front packing. <laughs> the latest craze in long distance hiking. It looks crazy for sure. Day to hike, six more days. You gonna wear the pumpkin head the whole way? No. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay, buddy, you gotta go. Halloween's over. <laughs> Be prepared to get the windmill going. And I worry about the little cowboys on the big white plains. Where do they stay? Are they insane? I think this is a good stretch for your calf muscles. On the little, little cowboys on the big white plains. Eating their little chili, beans and some salsa. Big little little cowboys on the big white plain. Oh. Where do they stay? On the big white plain. Twenty-eight mile day into Hachita cool. for no good reason. And they reason. were air brakes too. And air brakes. Yeah. And everyone said they were done pushing. They were lying. You're not done pushing. Bastards. They said they might be your money. No hablamos española. ¿Qué quieres conmigo? Huesito. Good, how are you? Great. I'm gonna see what I have left to drink. Do you have there. anything left? 
That's my own urine right there. <laughs> Sweet man. A half liter of my own urine, you know? Yeah. Here, here, love it. Love it, sweetie oh. hikers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Boom. Urine, it's great. What would you do if you had a gun with one bullet right now? Uh, shoot a rabbit for dinner. Wow. Ooh, man, that is gross. <laughs> we just talked to Border Patrol. They're gonna give us a ride back to Hachita in the cage. All we gotta do is finish. Where's Mexico guy? Mexico's there! Gotta push. We're gonna push into the desert night to finish our hike in 145 days! It's a new record. It's a new record for southbound hikers, except for a few exceptions. <laughs> Here we go! Canada to Mexico! Ale, ale, ale! Canada to Mexico! right now. <laughs> Skit, you ever been to Mexico before? I have not. <laughs> hey, 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 come check this out. Here's the sign about the axe murderer. 2,700 miles, 145 days. Four of the six of us that finished would become triple crowners. Teaching us the art of chill. And um, for being the most athletic by running five miles with your shirt off. <laughs> I pronounce you by like the Jesus. organization that we call all the underground. <laughs> a triple crowner. Woo! What? We're um. <laughs> Wow. Almost shitting your pants for an entire month. <laughs> <laughs> and forgetting trail tail. Oh. I met you a triple crowd. For uh, simultaneously heating and scenting the tent. Being <laughs> the official documentarian and our own little princess. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, for having the worst trail diet ever. <laughs> and for taking the most zeros. <laughs> no, but you Pi beat me in zeros. also get your Triple Crown Award. Yeah! Oh,
last night we've been sleeping underneath this tree. Then there fall these little bits. It's caterpillar shits. It's green, it's brown, it's red. It falls down on you. It's caterpillar poo. My friends, they won't believe me before it's taken in a lab. They won't trust my knowledge about caterpillar crap. It's green, it's brown, it's red. It falls down on you. It's caterpillar poo. Early in the morning, the shit's all over me. But I don't really care, cause it's just processed tree. It's green, it's brown, it's red. It falls down on you. It's caterpillar poo. Some call it condensation, but I know what it is. It's caterpillar piss. It's green, it's brown, it's red. It falls down on you. It's caterpillar poo. And if you don't believe me, and you don't think I'm right, then leave your mouth wide open and grab a tasty bite. Yeah, and <laughs> no chorus. It's over. <laughs> no, you have to do the ending like you did last time. When I read that, uh huh, okay.